And when I was there psychologically breaking down, saying, I'm a human being, please let me out, all I could hear was laughter and shouts. <laughs> now, I've heard it. I just lost his audio. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're back. Uh, Charlie, uh, no, I've been there in Canada, but I didn't have it as bad as you, and I was very polite. And these guys were like sadists. I mean, their faces were... <sighs> <laughs> and then I'd be sitting there to the guys when they let me out of one of the cells being interrogated. I'd say, I guess we're going to be here for a long time and have to go back to the U.S. And one of them almost jumped the counter. And he said, you're trying to escape. I heard you. And then, and then he'd smile like, I'm setting you up. Of course I'm evil. <laughs> you don't understand. It's time for us criminals to rule. You don't understand how many of us there are. Now we've gotten into every position. It's almost time, scum. <laughs> I'm sorry. Finish your story. Alex, I really do wish you were joking, but you're not. It is absolutely correct. Everything you've just said it is a repeat of Nazi Germany, except now they have a million times more powerful technology to treat us all like sheep. I experienced it for the best part of 24 hours firsthand, and it's really, really well, sickening. Well, Congress is told they won't say where the trillions are. I mean, what do people think's going on here? This is real. They're openly saying they're going to shut the web down. They're openly saying they're going to secretly arrest us. Folks, I'm not joking around with people. Neither is Charlie Veach. Now, now the, the video, some of the video was on the web of you being arrested. You were very polite to the, to the little lordships. Yeah, to the little Adolf Hitler with his little Adolf Hitler mustache. He actually told me, you're 30 seconds away from getting yourself arrested, boy. So I said, hold on a second, hold on a second. Can I just reason with you like a human being? And then he handcuffed me. No, they don't that. talk to Subboid. You're a blood bag. You're to supply blood to the state. Blood bags don't talk. They get in their matrix tube and they supply energy. Shut up, blood bag. Yeah. You think never... you blood bags have got any rights? We're here to teach you. You're blood bags for Goldman Sachs, period. Supply it. Supply it. Alex, I just hope that you have advanced warning when the actual roundups begin because I don't think we're actually that far off from what I can see. So I do hope you get at least a couple of days' warning to disappear. Well, number one, uh, the United States is armed. So what they want is when they try to round people up, they'll call us violent. Anybody that doesn't say, oh, sure, Mr. Hitler, take my children, too. And then they'll get to run around and show funerals of people and, and cry and whine. And, oh, in their little Nazi outfits. Oh, they, they're being mean to us. Goldman Sachs is good. Uh, but in England and Canada, where they're pretty much disarmed, you guys do have a, big, a bigger problem. We have a massive problem. And right now in the UK, criminals and bad people have as much access to weapons as they want and law-abiding citizens who might want to defend themselves against, for example, a fascist government takeover, are unable to do so. We are like lambs to the slaughter, and it's a very well, sad Well, this thing. is no doubt this is real, and, and uh, I commend you. Uh, you've been released from the gulag. I want to get you back on next week for a full report in the aftermath of this, Charlie Veach. Uh, give us the Love Police website. Yeah, it's uh, www.thelovepolice.eu or www.cveach.org. And, folks, it is absurdist. I mean, what's happening is ridiculous, but it's real. I mean, they had, they've been caught this year and two years ago in Canada staging provocateur events in the news. The police have been caught when there's no violence, stirring it up, because they, they, they want to shut down free speech. They don't want us pointing our fingers at the bankers and saying, we don't want them robbing us. They want to just have the bankers come out in front of the news and say, we love you. We're going to raise taxes on you because it's cute and trendy for the earth. We're going to talk to George Butler, who's also in Toronto right now. When we come back in the final segment, Charlie V will be on with us next week from the Love Police. I'm Alex Jones with Infowars.com. This is real terror. Find a backbone and speak out against it. Blow the alarm now.